Hello and welcome to Car Mechanic Simulator 2018 with me, Kevin Sawyer. Hope you guys are all well and enjoying your day. Right, um, I've got this rather interesting one for you. Um, now, this is available on Steam Workshop, uh, so feel free to download it yourself. However, you will need the um, Jeep DLC for this to work. I accidentally de subscribed to this and didn't read that, and it kept coming up with an error message every time I came in and out of the game saying, This needs to shape DLC to work, do 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 do. And then so I quickly looked, well, it just didn't even say that, it just says it needs a DLC, etc., 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 to work, and um, continue without playing parts, etc. And I thought, as it was only a cup four quid to buy the DLC, I'd give it a download DLC and give this mod a bit of a try for you guys um but please bear that in mind uh it's made by the modder of the name gollywog and uh, obviously if you're watching this at a later date he may have come in and changed the functionality of this mod and, and how it functions and everything else so please bear that in mind if you if you are watching this at a later date but i'll try and make this into a two it's probably gonna be a two-parter um because it just takes for well it takes a while to strip this thing down as you guys know but um i decided to plow on it's not cheap to buy this thing um just to let you know but I'll go into that in a second um I uh, decided to do the car that was sitting here the I think it was the Pontiac and uh, decided to just crack on and do some of these mod um sort of available on the, on the uh, on the Steam Workshop because you know the views have been dropping and I'm hoping maybe just maybe I can get some extra views by showing some mods off for this um, f things that other maybe YouTubers haven't uh, you played with or showed off or whatever excuse me um, right okay <laughs> so I'm a bit gassy today I've Sort of real bad stomach ache recently. My IBS has been kicking up a lot. But anyway, I'll di I digress. Um, as I say, this thing isn't cheap. We I'll take it. Sh I bought this from a scrapyard. Um, when I bought it, it was yeah, roughly about four hundred thousand to buy from the scrapyard. Um, so not cheap to buy this brand new. It's roughly about eight million, I think. When I saw one going for auction, they were asking like eight million for it. It will appear in the auctions as well as everything else. I've got quite a few different um, mods to show off to you guys. I want, must admit, I'm going to try and do Willis Jeep. Now I've got it. So if I come across that, I will buy it. But anyway, I wonder. I don't think this thing's. Well, that engine looks brand new. I don't know why the engine looks so brand new. Let's see if it actually starts. I doubt it. I can't get in it. Have I got a spare seat going? Uh, let's have a look, Ski. Um, I don't think I have. I think I sold my seat off. In the spare parts bin. It's not looking very promising, is it, guys and girls? Come on. Ah, I've got a bench. Got a got a set of wheels. I haven't got a seat. I wonder what kind of seat this thing requires. Um, this is front seat. So, front seat, front left seat, front right seat. Right, okay. Let's go to the interior shop then quickly. Uh, 
I don't think it's going to start, but just just for uh, S and G's, let's see if we can get the thing. See if it does start. Since the engine looks really new, I might need um, might not even need to worry about buying. Anything for it now. It looks very similar to the GPL C6. Um, looks very similar to that. Let's see what happens if I buy that and throw it in. Let's see if it let me right throw it in. It probably won't. Oh, it did. Nice. Okay. See that gearbox looks all brand new and everything. That's the downside. Because when I first got this, I said uh, this engine wasn't even in here. It was just empty bay. But that's probably because the DLC wasn't working. Now I've got this working. I'm wondering if that would be a factor. But let's ignore that the engine's brand new. Didn't think it was going to start, but it's worth a try. Let's do a checks. Um, blah, blah, blah. Well, at least this looks so new. I've got a funny suspicion this is all going to be brand new. Because it looks all brand new. Yeah. <laughs> well, that saves us a bit of a job, really, doesn't it? We don't have to worry about re rebuilding the engine because it's already been done for us. <laughs> I suspect the fuel tank is replacing. So this might even be a one part of the tyres. They said something in the dis um, in the comments, well, in his uh, on a mod on the description that it, you can't purchase the tyres for this um, I don't know how true that is um, you're just going to have to work with me guys or well, we're just going to have to find out so this thing oh it's got no oil which is not a good start so let's put some oil in this brand new engine <laughs> it's got the engine it's probably been done so this may not take as long as I thought. It's a bit of a shame, but then to the brakes. And um, where's the oil pan over here? It looks like Willis Jeep engine's been put into this. Whoops. Way too much oil. Right, let's start tearing the bits that haven't got fixed out of it. We don't really need to worry about the engine. Sorry guys, I'm just... A, it's like, uh, a scrapyard job that's got a brand new engine. Seems legit. Not. Right. That saves us a lot of work. Oh, drum brakes on the front. So I think it's going to be... So really, I could have took this out for a test drive, but just if I put some more bits on it, but let's ignore that. Let's just take these bits, these things to bits. Very interesting setup on the front here. It's like the rear axles on the front. It's an unusual looking knuckle housing as well. I guess it's being borrowed off the Jeep again. Can't take it off for some bizarre reason. It's like a jerk. Plate on it. Oh, now I saw that 
the other day that weird looking round plate and wondered what it was all about, but it was obviously part of it. Right, okay. Start on the front end, get that done. If I see one again in the in the um scrap yard, I'm probably likely to buy it and um, depending on how much to get it. If it's like four hundred thousand again I'm not gonna be able to get it because this has got like cleared the bank just to get to this point. Could sell this one, I guess. Um, because it would fetch me about eight million once I've repaired it. Well, I suspect it will anyway. I'm only guessing. We have to see, wait and see when we finish this. Why aren't you coming off? Is it because I need to get rid of that? Probably. There it goes. Right, let's go to the back end of this thing and take it to the bit. When I saw this mod, I was like, hmm, nice, Bentley, blower, they're rare as hen's teeth, um, you know, I found quite a few, yet to find a Golf GTI or an old Golf um, mod, I found a Citroen 2CV mod, which I'll try once I find one or buy one, but I'll show you guys, as much as I hate things, I figured it's been like an interesting playthrough. Never was a big Citroen fan. Some people swear by him, but not me. Zoink. So we don't need to touch none of that because that's all brand new. So. You have to take these out first. It used to be you used to click on it and then say take out them. Da, 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 da. Right. No, it's still a cake bushing stuck in it somewhere. Oops. Come on. Take all these bits out. Right, get rid of that fuel tank as well. I oh, didn't have a fuel pump. Surprised the thing tried to even turned over or started or tried to start. Right, is there anything I can take off the body while I'm more at it? I suspect I'm going to be buying a lot of parts for this. So I'm going to take that off. The engine's not disassemblable. That's disassemblable. That's a word. 
There's no doors on this thing, I don't think. And interior mode. Oops. So we'll take these out again. Pop on up on them seats. Right, let's bring the welder over to this one. So position number three. Does this got glass on it or is this all part of the body? Well that does remove, so that's the glass gone. Right. Weld it. Are you sure? Yes. Ching. Right. So just with an engine and a and the bit of the transmission. How much is this now worth? Oh wow! It jumped up to six and a half grand. You know, <laughs> so that's almost double what I paid for it so far. And all I've done is welded it. Right. Okay. Did this have a bat? I don't think this has a battery in it. I didn't see one. Do a quick diagnosis. Electrical diagnosis check. Besides, it should be brand new for batteries. Hmm. Now I'm wondering, because originally this would have probably been a crank start. You'd have had to get a crank handle and crank this thing over to start it. But I do know when they did a lot of um, renovation work on them things, they uh, they did. put starters into them and it has got a starter in it so but there's no battery which makes well, it seems legit makes no sense it doesn't seem legit to me This would be the question, can we get tires for this thing? Or will the tires magically be fixed if we put them on here? Let's see what survives if we condition like something can survive. A lot of it is getting repaired, frankly. Is getting broken as well. Right, okay. So let's just quickly look. What tyres does this thing need? Because it said it couldn't purchase the tyres for it. But it says vintage type B, so I don't understand that. Um, so I'm going to do so vintage type B uh, 215 by 74 by 75, sorry. 215 by 75, 24 inch? Is that what it's telling me? Okay. I'm just going to double check the rims itself. No, 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 no. Yeah, okay. So it's 215 by 75, by 24 inch. That's going to be big. Let's go to the tires. Vintage type B, wasn't it? Vintage type B. I might put that one in. Vintage type A, just because it seems more like it would have a white wall on it. Oh, I'll stick these on it for now. So, for uh, 24. Uh, two fifteen. Well, that's smart. I can't go down to uh, yeah. 
there lays the rub. You can't buy the tyres for it. Okay. Seems legit. So 215 by 75. I don't understand that. Why would it? Two fifteen by seventy five. See, it won't, yeah, it automatically. Hmm. Okay, that is the downside of this mod, peeps. You'll never be able to buy the tyres for it. He did say that in the description in his defence. Must be because of some of the way the game works. Be the thought. In his defence, it's obviously something to do with the way the game works. But you'd have thought the mod would have made it work with what the game's limitations is, rather than make it so you can't actually put a brand, do a full restoration on this. You can only ever do a partial restoration unless you buy some brand new wheels for it from somewhere. You could put smaller wheels on it, I guess. Which I could try and do that. I wonder if that will work. Because these are... Hmm. It might look odd though, that's the only thing. Might look a bit odd, so I won't risk it. I might just flip this then. As that is the... That is the problem with it. Right, what? Let's put this back on. What made it? What didn't make it? Is the question. And what do I need? And I'm going to need two inners and an outer track rods. So I'm going to need some new um, new bolts. Probably a new leaf spring. Securing plate. So I can need one of them as well. Come on. I still find it a bit flabbergasting how. So, we're going to need these four sets of drums, aren't I? Yeah. So, get them now. Not five, four, Kev. Right, okay. See, there's a Plymouth DLC coming out for this at some point as well. Seems a bit redundant now that they've got the mod. So we need new two outers and four shock absorber type Bs. Well, they're front ones, aren't they? So two fronts, two rears, I guess. Yet. Oh, got 
bought brand new ones of them, but it's not. Yikes. Oh well. Huh? Oh yeah, I haven't balanced the wheels up yet. Nope. TCAV. Keep going. So that didn't make it. Right, okay. How did I end up with four of them? least another four of them so I'm gonna need a front steering knuckle type E there them and all. Not good. We need a front axle drive axle as well. Type F. And find it on here. Solid rear drive axle. There. Put the brakes in, might as well. Brakes on. You've got to have some sort of brakes, isn't it? Right, so that's more or less the front end complete, isn't it? So I'll throw that back in. I'll work my way back to the back end. Balance that wheel. Still think there's a bit well rubbish that you can't get tired for this. So you'd have to buy another one that's got decent wheels just <laughs> just to make this physically work. the back of this thing. I better buy, while I'm thinking about it, buy some a fuel tank. Oh, idiot Kev. Right, a uh, fuel tank and a fuel pump. Here, see if this survived. That did. Cool beans. Did the drive shaft survive? Yes, it did. This could be quite an easy eight million pounds. 
Well, it won't ever be 8 million because they can't do the tyres, silly enough. But now, now, I need two rear shock absorber type Bs. One leaf spring, at least. I think one set of U bolts. Four sets of U bolts. Put the bushings in. I've only got one of them left, so I'm going to have to get some of them as well. Just to add insult to injury. So while I'm at it, suspension. Um, really wish it could just scroll up with the mouse button, make life a lot easier. Or middle mouse, scroll wheel. What's one of them? And what else did we need? We needed two rear shocker type Bs. Um, four of them. One, two, three, four. Oops. Can't mount these. Two of those. Throw that in. These spring. Oh, we didn't buy that because I'm an idiot. Right. Throw that in. First, throw that in. Throw that on. Oh, we need two of them as well. Okay, so front wheel half clap four. Real wheel hub, I should say. Wheel hub type four, so two of them. Did we get no, I still didn't get the leaf spring. What am I, an idiot? Even though I was telling myself, leaf springs, leaf springs, leaf springs, still forgot. The leaf spring, right, okay. Zoink. 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 Put all that in as well. Right, that's that done. That's done. I need to put the cape bushings in as well. Just remind myself to spot that there. Shoes in, drum in. Put the cape bushings in on this side. So that's that done. Let's hop back over to this side. Come on, hop. That's it. Rinse and repeat. The back end on this side. Oh, that's a shame. If that's one of the few things that didn't make it, I'm happy about that. Because that's not many, not much is on this is wrong, really. It didn't make the pair process. Like, yeah, here's your Bentley for a brand new engine. The engine alone is probably worth a couple of hundred thousand. Because the Bentley engines are going to be very rare and sort of after. Even though it looks like a Jeep engine. But hey ho. Uh, what was I after, peeps? I've forgotten already. And uh, I have to come back out. Uh, brake shoe. Or brake cylinder. Brake cylinder. Some people call them slave cylinders. It's a master cylinder. It's a master cylinder. Great shoes. So just with the rolling chassis, 
without the wheels on yet. How much is this thing worth? I want to clean, clean the interior as well. Get the cleaning kit over before we move to ramp three. Are you sure? Yeah. Right, return the welder back to sender. Return to sender. Return to sender. Right, just as is. See, that's looking pretty cool. Just as eels. Let's have a look what it's worth. Wow! Look at that! <laughs> that's good. That's um, that's getting up quite, quite, um, quite expensive already. And all I've done is I've uh, restored the chassis. I wonder if you can, oh, I doubt you can go out and buy this from the shop. There's no way. You could put smaller wheels on there. I'm still toying it with it myself. Just put something. I I buy it. What I do is I buy a set of wheels, same spoke, but just a smaller size. Whatever smaller size we can get, and see what happens there. If it looks. Like it's not gonna work. Why can I put the wheel on? Yeah. Am I missing something, Pete? Ah, yeah, missing that plate. Yeah, they're retro 12 wheels. So if I just get the biggest ones I can and just see how odd it looks with the biggest ones. If it looks completely out of scale, then we know why. But, uh, if it doesn't look too bad, then we can live. I can live with it. I'll keep it in my garage. It'll be restorated. What I'll do is I'll leave that one off, I'll just buy one, how about that, that's a good idea Kev, because then you don't waste a lot of money. So, so rims, so it was retro 12 wasn't it, not classic, retro. So what is the biggest size we can get? 25 inch. It's because it's 24 inch, isn't it? So what's the biggest size tyre we can get? That is the question we need to find out. Do, 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 do. I need to get, get my mind into gear and actually go back out and go to tyres. So the vintage type B on it. So twenty-four inch, wasn't it? It was, it was 
it was 215 wasn't it so if I say because the profile was like 70 so it's 40 so I'm gonna go I'm gonna go for that and see how disastrous it looks now get a 24 inch rim buy that. See how disastrous it actually looks. So I need to put it back together first and I that that done. It does look a bit on a small side doesn't it? In his defence. You could always Looks more like a <laughs> far out kind of plastic, pla cla classic car with a sort of like m modern take on it. Because this is the real, that looks more legit compared to. Let's put it on. Oops, I'm going to do that. I don't think it's going to work myself. Why won't you let me? I've probably not finished putting something on a bit. It's back on this end. Part mount. That's better. Right, so let's just part this on first. Okay guys, sorry about that. Got interrupted. Uh right. What did I get to putting that on? I don't think that's gonna work. Myself. Especially once you get the body panel, because the side panel on this is going to be a wheel. It just won't look legit. It's a shame. It's a real shame. So that doesn't work. So we'll take that back off. It doesn't. If you can live with that, then you're good to go. But if you can't live with that, then you, you're going to have to. I have a buy a brand new one. I don't know if you can buy the mods. I don't think you can buy the mod cars in there. No, we want that one, don't we? It must be something to do with the limitations of the game. Because obviously the, they can't make the wheels they have to be certain sizes for certain wheels. It's a bit daft if you ask me, but hey ho. Right, what can what can we stick on body panel wise? I know this did have a Did this have a I'm sure this had a bonnet, no maybe not. Maybe it didn't have a bonnet. Right, so I'm gonna need Wow. Front end. Right, okay. Pretty much the whole body kit. And the windows, I think. <laughs> because, uh, excuse me. <coughs> right. Everyone's been going around with the sniffles and everything. I've been avoiding them as much as I can, but my nose has been running a lot. Uh, just untangle my headphones because they're tangled up yet again. Sorry, guys. Um, right. Uh, duh, duh, duh. So, body shop. That's what we need. 
No, it's going to be a Bentley blower, isn't it? Bentley... Blower. There we go. So that, wow, that, 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 oops, that, 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 whatever that is, that, 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 that's it, I think that is the whole lot, hopefully. Throw that on. 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 Some sort of strap I look through. So I can assemble. I need to get some exhaust to this as well, don't I? Uh, okay. I must have bought that. I did. I wonder if I can repair that old one. I'll find out once so. Put this all back together. Right, okay. Ah, oh, okay. So let's buy some. I wonder if this thing can get number plates. Sorry, it's been a bit slow. Loading, guys. Ah, uh, do do do. Get some Great Britain ones, stand up Great Britain. Could probably flip this. Could always buy another couple and play about with them later on. If I come across a couple, another couple in the scrapyard. Maybe we'll get some. There we go. Does it have a front one? No front one. Right, okay. We need to get some more seats though, don't we? And have another wheel. Is that all that belongs to this thing? How much is it worth now before I put the interior back in? Wowzers! <laughs> Tires are the only thing that are really letting it down. Everything else is brand new on this, as we know. I've got to put the normal mode. Oh, hang on. Is that the way you can get to the engine? Rad, no doubt. This thing will not 
run very long if we don't have a radiator in it. Uh, engine. Engine. Rad. Oh, I had one already. None tea. Um, oh, well, I've got spare now. Right, okay. See, the wheel doesn't look pretty good. It hasn't been coloured in any way, but it's not a bad thing. Right, okay. Move. The car. We need to get another seat, don't we? We need to get a seat and a steering wheel. Brand new seat and a steering wheel. So this was one of them. Because that seemed more. Now we need a really classic looking steering wheel for this to work. is probably as classic as it's going to get is that is there another type that looks a bit more classical so I'll go for that it's one of them one of them Okay, it was the original other one I initially first picked, but I'll go for that. Send it to Spray Booth. She does the thing start. Let's have a look. So realise this on the other side. This is on the. Uh, not on the normal side. on the right hand side of the car. Well it's quite quiet, but we haven't got an exhaust on it, so excuse me as I put my tin drink down. Hasn't got an exhaust on it. Uh, that doesn't seem Makes sense. This does have no exhaust. I just realised that. That doesn't seem right to me. There's, there's the exhaust manifold there. Then it just has nothing to attach to that. Okay. So we don't need to worry about the exhaust because that looks like the exhaust there. I guess to give it classic looking exhaust he's done it that way. So let's put it in the spray room and I'll take it out for a spin. No it's gone on a bit. Sorry guys. Move car to spray booth. I had to try that to see if we could figure out the wheels. I guess you could just put a slightly smaller pair of wheels on there. It'd never look right, but. Set current. Set factory looks, looks the same anyway. Move it to move to position one. Ah, that looks quite nice. 
is a shame about the tyres, but I can't have everything right. Now, how much is it worth? Hey, look at that! That is gonna, you know. Why are you saying that? It's because the. I'll do the checks on it. It's a shame we can't do the um, checks from underside, but never mind. Let's take it out for a test drive. I'm gonna take it on to the test track for a change. Rather than take it to the airfield. A lot of dials move. Have a brake song. But it is drum brakes. And the tyres are also shot, so it's not gonna have a good should do. I wonder if I just take a look at the engine quickly. Let's have a quick look. See. Do, 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 do. We knew that was going to be good. Shame I can't open the bonnet without taking the bits. Move it back over to. Over to. Oh. Do, 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 do. Yeah. See, it won't know what's going on with the rest of that. So that's probably going to limit a lot of its value because it's what it's knowing. Because it doesn't know what's going on with the rest of that. So I'll do that all off screen. But <laughs> that concludes the. Uh, Mods showcase again, guys. You can find this on the Steam Workshop, um, and it's a Bentley blower. The only downside to it, obviously, you can't buy the um, tyres for it, but the uh, guy does admit that straight from the get go, and you need the DLC for it to work. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please feel free to like. If you didn't enjoy it, please feel free to dislike, but please let me know why in the comments down below so I can improve in the future. If you know anyone else that may also enjoy watching this, again, guys and girls, feel free to share. It helps me out a lot and I don't mind you sharing. And if you're new to my channel, you'll see future episodes of this or anything else that I'm working on, please don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. TTFN.